Hello and welcome to Windows Power. Today it's about how you can start a Windows computer with your iPhone. How this works, just stay tuned. Hello and welcome back. So, to make the whole thing work, we have to make some settings on Windows 11 and on the computer. We start with the computer first. We have to set a little bit in BIOS. You start the BIOS, usually with the remote control. But I link an article on our website where the right way is shown how to get into BIOS. As soon as the BIOS has been started, click on Expand and continue to APM. Then activate the function, Turn On by PCI. Start the computer again. It may be that the whole thing looks a little different on your computer because it is from another manufacturer. For me it is Asus. How this works, please look in the user manual. We continue with the Windows 11 settings. We start the device manager and open our network adapter. Click on the network adapter with the right mouse button and select properties. Here we have to do the following. We have to put a box under energy management. With device, the computer can be activated from the rest state. Now we need the network information. For example, IP address, MAC address, where we have to enter them in the app. We click on the network symbol with the right mouse button. Select network and internet settings. Click on Properties. Now we see all the information we need. We need the IP address of this computer and the MAC address. Now it's about the app we need to start the computer. In App Store, there are a lot of apps how to start the computer. I have chosen this one. It is free and very easy to set up. As soon as you have downloaded and started the app, click on the wheel. Here you have to enter the information. MAC address, IP address, MAC, and port. As soon as you have done this, click on Save and you can start. Now we come to the last point. You can start the computer with your voice thanks to Siri. As soon as you have set up everything, Click on the question mark. And further down on the black series symbol. Then you have the chance to edit it. Or to start the computer. And when you are done and click on don't.
Then the short command has been added to Siri. And you can start the computer by voice command. That's it. Thanks for watching. We would be very happy about a subscription. Bye. See you next time.